station on space to ground. Run, Tim, run! Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. ESA astronaut Tim Peake joined the short list of successful space marathon runners over the weekend. The British astronaut ran in concert with about 33,000 people participating in the London Marathon and was even able to watch them live on a screen from his treadmill. He completed the 26.2 mile distance in three hours, 35 minutes, enough time for the station to circle the entire globe more than twice. He joins an exclusive club with NASA astronaut Sonny Williams, who ran the Boston Marathon from station back in 2007. A new satellite launched from the station this week, and it was a big step for a new country looking to reach out into space. The Diwata-1 satellite was deployed from outside of the Japanese Kibo module on Wednesday. Intended to observe Earth and monitor climate changes, this was the first microsatellite owned by the Philippine government that involved Filipino engineers in the development. It was a joint project between Philippine and Japanese universities and is just the latest small satellite to be deployed thanks to the International Space Station. This week, Kyle wants to know why the robotic arm is often controlled by the ground. Don't the astronauts have a better view? As it turns out, they don't for a lot of maneuvers since windows are pretty rare on the station. The crew has robotic control stations in the Cupola and the Destiny Lab, with the former only having a view of what's immediately underneath the station. For the most part, they have to rely on the same external camera views that our operators on the ground receive. And since some of these operations can take up to eight hours or more, it's easier for folks on the ground to take over tasks when astronauts aren't required. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.